Okay, fixing another factory Ford uh, problem. On these uh, six, seven power strokes, you got these coolant lines, right? That sit on top of the engine. These uh, pieces right here are plastic from the factory. They tend to leak. Um, they don't leak much, but it's enough to cause me concern, especially as you keep driving the truck. The truck only has like 33,000 miles on it. But I notice you see some splatter of coolant, you know, in the engine bay, kind of covering the engine top, and I found out it was leaking right here. Well, I went online and I ordered these brass barbed tees. You can get them from Amazon, um, Advanced Auto Parts, um, but I, I ordered from Amazon um, a different brand because when you look at the stock T compared to the ones from you know Advanced Auto, the barbs here are a little bit longer on the on the factory ones, and I, I wanted one that was longer, uh, so that's to make sure I get a good clamp uh, clamping force, you know, on the T itself. Um, but so far, um, I was actually driving around with, with these on, and it stopped the uh, coolant leak. But I wanted one with you know the barbs that were just a little bit longer, you know, a quarter inch longer on each side. Um, and, and there's three barbs versus two on this one here, so it just makes me feel more comfortable that there's more barbs on it. That's all. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, pretty easy to do. You don't need to drain the coolant. You just open your degas bottle. Let the gases out. Um, I mean, I just came off, came home from work, and I just started doing it. So I mean, it's not not a real big deal. Uh, there was no real leakage. Just just a little bit of coolant came out from here. I mean, just very little. Um, but yeah. So if uh, I rec I recommend you get rid of the plastic tees and exchange it for a barbed brass tee.